Well, a fine good afternoon, everyone. This is Patricia, and I am traveling for history. I'm in St. Albans, Vermont today. Now, I know this is my first time filming here, so pretty cool. And this is the building I'm going to talk about right here. This is the L'Ecole Saint-Ange, or the Holy Angels Convent in English. It is an historic religious and educational building on Lake Street in the city of St. Albans, Vermont. Built in 1899, it is a prominent local example of Romanesque revival architecture and served historically as a significant cultural center for the local French-Canadian immigrant population. It was listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1980. The building has been readapted for residential use. In fact, I think it's senior housing. The former Holy Angels Convent stands a few blocks west of downtown St. Albans. In fact, that is the direction towards downtown St. Albans. On the north side of Lake Street, which is Vermont Route 36, it could explain why it's so busy, a street. Opposite its junction with Edward Street, Edward Street, and across the parking lot with the Holy Angels Catholic Church parking lot, and that magnificent church right there. Isn't that gorgeous? It is a three-story brick building covered by a hip roof and set on a raised foundation of rusticated granite blocks. The main facade has projecting full height bays flanking a central section with a recessed entrance. So this is the recessed entrance, right? The right bay is topped by a tower capped by a steep hip roof with iron cresting. All right, so iron cresting. Let's see if I can pull it in on my camera for us. All right, up at the top here, that is the iron crusting they're talking about. It's a beautiful, uh, beautiful decorative element. Windows are set in segmented arch openings on the first two floor floors and round arch openings on the third. All right, so. Do we see the segments? See right here, you have one piece, two piece, and this third piece here. But up here, those windows are, are arched. You see that? And they have stone keystones and sills. All right, I think we know what a window sill is. That's a window sill, in case you don't know. And the keystone. That is a keystone right there. And there. And right there. So what does a keystone do? Should we care? Yes, we should care. So a keystone is the wedge-shaped piece that's at the uh, top of of, a, of, a, of for instance, of the windows and the door. It is the last piece to go in during construction, which, when once placed, all the other stones move towards it and allows the building to accept weight. So if it's a vault, for instance, it would work like that in a vault, and it works like this here because the uh, because the these each of these arches is hold, held in place because of that wedge. The eave features decorative brick corbeling and that 
right there is corbeling. Isn't that beautiful? Wow, it's amazing. St. Albans, located just 15 miles or 24 kilometers from the Canada U.S. border, has a long history of immigration from adjacent Quebec. By the 1850s, by the 1850s, its French-speaking population had grown to the point where the local Roman Catholic diocese established the Holy Angels Convent a few blocks north of the present site. The nuns taught classes in French to the local population in a bid to maintain their French language and culture. By the 1890s, that space was outgrown and the present building was constructed in 1899. It was, for 75 years, an educational and social center for the surrounding neighborhood, which still has many residents of French-Canadian descent. The building has since been converted into residential units. But isn't that spectacular? Wow, it's just amazing. Amazing. Well... I don't think I can do much of a walk around this, so um, it is private property. But um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I enjoyed uh, presenting the material to you. This was worth the trip, <laughs> no doubt about it. Uh, but um, if you enjoy my content, I would ask that you subscribe to my channel. 150 growing stronger each day. So join the fun. Plenty of room uploading every day of the week. Today is April 11, 2022, and that is still the case. So, until I see you again, you have a great day. Thanks so much for watching. Truly appreciate it. Have a great day. Bye.